What's going on guys, Balkan Architect here, and in today's video we're going to be doing one of these kind of fun Revit gameplay tutorials, and I'm just going to be showing you one really cool building. It's this little kind of short tower uh, designed by Oscar Niemeyer, and uh, I really like the way it looks, I really like this aesthetic of it, I like the spiral stair, so I thought why not have just a quick little tutorial, fun tutorial, where I show you how to model something like this in Revit, what's required in terms of settings, and what would my general approach be. So I think it's really useful to kind of follow how other people work in order to improve your own workflow. So that's what we're doing today. Uh, now before I get into that, make sure to like this video, it helps me out a lot, it helps promote the video to other people that might want to see it. Make sure to subscribe, I make useful Revit tutorials each week. And finally, make sure to check out my website BalkanArchitect.com, that's the first link just below the video in the description. Uh, there I have all of my courses where I take the extra time to explain some of these important Revit topics in depth. There's over a hundred hours of content ranging from beginner through intermediate and over to advanced level topics. So if you're serious about learning Revit, make sure to check it out. Okay, so without any further ado, let's jump straight into Revit. And here we are in Revit. So let us get started by going straight into models. Then I'm going to go to new. Uh, and for the template file, I'm just going to go with my architecture design template, the metric version. And if you want to check out my templates, you can find them both on my website, balkanarctic.com. And that's going to be the third link in the description. Let's then click OK. And let's let Revit start right up. So as soon as Revit starts up, uh, we're going to be setting up the levels first. That's something that I, I like to do kind of uh, out of the gate. So let's go here to the project browser, uh, go to elevations and let's open up the south elevation. Here, as you can see, we have a couple of levels. Now this is quite a, a tall structure and um, we want to have kind of uh, high levels for this. Now I need levels uh, for the stairs and then obviously for the top part of the building. So here as you can see uh, I'm just going to be modeling this as two separate stairs and then obviously we have this thing on top. Uh, so for that I'm going to go here to the level 2, uh, click on level 2, click on number and then change this to 600 centimeters. Uh, in addition to that I'm going to add a couple of uh, levels. So let's go to here to the architecture tab, go to the datum panel, uh, go to the level tool and then we can just use the offset option and give it an offset of 600 centimeters, click enter and then I can just add them like this on top. Okay, so once I have that in place, and now it's time to start modeling the actual uh, building. So for the building itself, I like to start off here in the uh, elevation view, uh, just in order to measure things out and just to get some idea about the proportions of this building. So what I'm going to do is uh, just go here to the reference plane, and then let's place uh, just a couple of reference planes like that. Uh, perhaps have one in the middle as the main one. And then also here for the top part, let's have a couple of them like so. And now let's start measuring out. Uh, so for these, I want them to be 150 from the center, making the kind of the, the core uh, column or whatever you would call this center part. That will be 300 centimeters in diameter. And then these ones will be 800 centimeters from there. So just click on that. There we go. Okay, so once we have all of this in place, now we can get started modeling the actual structure. So let's go and let's create this uh, wall here in the middle. So I'm just going to go to a level one floor plan. Uh, here, just to make it a little bit easier on myself, I'm going to go to the reference plane and add just a horizontal reference plane like this, just so I can have some center point uh, in the middle here. Then let's go to the architecture tab, go to the wall tool, and then I'm simply going to go and use my exterior wall, the regular one. And for the location line, this is important, make sure it says finish face exterior. Go to the circle tool, and then you just go to the center, go out, just like that. Okay, so once we have all of this in place, uh, now we can just go back to the south elevation, see what we have. And actually I want to extend this. So currently it goes from level one up to level two. I actually want it to go up to level four. 
it's probably going to look like this in real life. And now let's continue kind of the, the rest of the structure. So for that, we need to open up level three. I can just double click here to open up level three. And then for the level three, it's the same approach. You go to the wall tool, same wall, same location line, and the same circle tool. And then you go out just like that. Uh, now, uh, if I just go to the 3D view or the south elevation, yeah, that goes all the way to the top. But something else that they want to add to this is going to be obviously the curtain wall. Uh, now for the curtain wall, what I'm going to do is go to my uh, level three floor plan, go to my wall tool, uh, go to properties, and then I'm just going to use the storefront curtain wall. Uh, make sure it goes from level three up to level four, but I'm going to give it a base offset of 400 centimeters and then also a top offset of minus 120, or sorry, 40 centimeters. Yeah, that would be too much. <clears throat> You hit apply and then you can place it. Uh, again, we're just going to be using a circle here and then you go from the middle, you go up to the center part. There we go. Hit the escape key a couple of times. Now this, as you can see, it's pointing inward and you want to flip it here by using the flip grips or flip arrows. Flip it out. Same thing with this one. You want to flip it. And there we go. Now, uh, if we go to the 3D view, this is what we have so far. So I'm quite happy with the way this, this turned out so far and now it's time to do the fun part which is going to be the stairs and that's also the most complicated part of this tutorial so for the stairs uh, let's go to our level one for example uh, then let's go to our stair tool and for the stairs I'm simply going to use the monolithic cast in place stair uh, now for this you want to go here to the components and then you want to use the full step spiral stair to play to create this uh, and then what you want to do also is going to edit type and just change this perhaps to 17 centimeters and this to 30 just to have a, a few more steps click apply okay and now I can get started so you and let's create the actual run width of 120 centimeters and then you want to go out just like that and here I'm just trying to align it with the building that's 210 centimeters, that's perfect. And then we can just place that stair there. Okay, so once we have the stair placed, as I've mentioned, uh, the issue here is, as you can see, it starts off as a thin stair, but then it expands here halfway up and then it tapers down. So we wanna mimic that and we want to have kind of a thick part in the middle. So what I'm going to do is go back here, select the stair that they have created Go to convert, and this converts this to sketch-based stairs. Cancel out of that, and then, let's see, now when we select this, it has the edit sketch function. Now, what you can do with this is you can take the stair, and then you can delete the outer uh, boundary. And then what they like to do is just extend this one. So this one is 120, so we can extend that to, I don't know, whatever. Let's extend it up to 240. or even 250, ah. It doesn't want to go to 140, that's so annoying. Okay, there we go, or 240, perfect. Okay, so we have extended this one to that, uh, 240, and then one here in the middle, I'm just going to extend a little bit to 190 perhaps. So there we have added 50, yeah, that's okay. Perhaps just a little smaller. Okay, like that. Okay, so once you have done this, then you wanna to switch to boundary to arc, start and radius arc, and then you go from here to here to this point, and then you can make that like so, and then you go from here to here, and then you can complete that arc. Okay, this one doesn't look good, so let's do it like that, and then we change this. There we go. Okay, so once you have this kind of a uh, expanding uh, uh, array or however you want to call it, uh, then you have to use the trim and extend multiple elements. So you select that, you select the outer boundary, and then you can select all of these and see how it extends. So we can even select multiple ones. It should work, let's see. There we go. Okay, again, you go to trim and extend.
Oops, let's try that again. Click here and then here. There we go. Okay, sometimes you're going to get this error, so you can try to fix that, but it's annoying. So yeah, I usually just go back a few steps. That might be a few too many steps. <laughs> okay, let's go back here to trim and extend. Yeah, in most cases, it's going to be the best if you just go one by one. I know it's a little bit annoying, but there we go. Okay, and now we can just hit finish. And this is what we have. So now when we go to the 3D view, as you can see, it expands upward and it becomes thicker. And that's what we want to see. Okay, uh, moving forward, we can just hit finish and it's going to finish that stair. It added the railing, which I don't want. So I can select the railing and just hit the delete. Okay, we need another stair. So let's go now to level two. So here, floor plans, level two, zoom in a little bit. And now we repeat basically the same process, just in reverse. So again, you go to the stair, uh, you keep the same settings, you go here to the full step spiral, you go out, and then you go to 210, and you go from here up to there, there we go. And then this one is going to expand at the bottom. So again, you go to convert to sketch, then you wait for a moment, then you go to edit sketch, you delete this line here, and then you can extend one of these a little bit. And then you extend this one all the way out here. And then you repeat the process. So you go back to boundary, you go to the start end radius arc, you go from here to here. And then from here to here. And then it's the same process of trim and extend. Click this line. And then you extend all of these. And you repeat the same thing on the other side. So you click this one and then extend. So, oops, let's try that again. There we go. Now, if you click uh, anywhere off to the side, then you have to click on the main one again. And there we go. So when I hit finish, Okay, something's wrong. Let's see. Is it this one? Okay, so the stair path seems to be having a problem. So let's repeat that. So go here to stair path, go to the arc tool, then you go from here to here to finish. And there we go, now it works. And if I go to the 3D view, this is what we have. So as you can see, it has that uh, kind of wider part in the middle and then it goes all the way up. Uh, now to finish this completely, something that I would like to add to this stair, and again, we have that railing, I forgot to turn that off. And speaking of railing, that's what they want to fix. Uh, here we have that railing that kind of looks basic and this one has that nice, kind of monolithic railing. So we can actually do that in Revit. You simply select the stair type. Uh, you have to know that the railing goes on the right side of the stair. Obviously, when you start walking here on the right, that's where the railing is. So you select the stair, you go into edit type, uh, then you go to supports, you find the right support, uh, you use the stringer, or yeah, stringer closed, then you go here to the right support type, you go to stringer, uh, you added the family here, and I'm just going to increase the width to 10 centimeters, and then the total depth to something like 120, click OK, apply, OK, and this is what we have. So it basically uses a stringer to create a, a railing, and that looks cool. Here we do have this notch, which we can fix uh, simply by giving it a base offset of, I don't know, like minus 10 minus 15. Okay, 15 is too much. Let's try 14. Ah, it's there. And there we go. So now we have that nice looking stair. Obviously you can fix this up with an in-place family, but that's okay. Uh, and then finally, let's finish this up by going to our uh, uh, just going to the third level here. Uh, then you want to go to floor, 
and then you want to use a circle on the outside up to there there we go and then on the inside we want one circle here and then you want to pick this line here you might want to pick some line randomly like so and then this outer line oops this one like there okay so once we have all of these selected uh, you can go to split element tool sl is the shortcut you split it here then you go to trim and extend and you just fix this up just like so okay i've messed this up a little bit let's see there we go it should go like that and then again trim and extend Okay, I think the opening should look like this, and then we hit finish. Uh, now this is exterior decking, let's change that to concrete, looks better. Go to the 3D view, yeah, there we go. So we have the opening for the stair, and then obviously for the roof, you can go to level four. Now, if you don't see anything, that's okay. We can go to the properties and just uh, apply an underlay and use the third level for that, hit apply. There we go zoom in a little bit and then you can just use a uh, just either either a floor or we can even use a roof and then uh, use a circular flat roof just uncheck the defined slope go like that and also i'm going to give it an offset so the offset will be minus 80 centimeters to finish go to the 3d view okay this looks odd let's see okay minus 80 centimeters yeah that looks fine and then also these two we can attach top base to the roof and this is what we have and there we go this is what our little uh, Oscar Neymar tower looks like uh, and yeah that's pretty much it you can obviously go and change the glass a little bit give it that uh, bronze or golden tint if you want but I think it looks really good and it's surprisingly quick to model a structure like this especially with that complex spiral stair which kind of becomes wider and narrower at the different points but all in all i'm quite happy with the way that this turned out uh, anyways thank you for watching the tutorial make sure to check out my website balkanarctic.com that's the first link in the description also make sure to check out my patreon if you want to get this project file as well as any of my other revit project files that's the second link in the description make sure to subscribe like and share this video and i'll be back with another balkan arctic tutorial in a couple of days thank you for watching and have a nice day